请把书翻到第十七页。Reading Act One, Scene Three. The Million Pound Banknote. It is the summer of 1903. Two old and wealthy brothers, Roderick and Oliver, have made a bet. Oliver believes that with a million pound banknote, a man could survive a month in London. His brother Roderick doubts it. At this moment, they see a penniless, penniless young man wandering on the pavement outside their house. It is Henry Adams. An American businessman who is lost in London and does not know what he should do. Young man, would you step inside a moment, please? Who, me, sir? Yes, you. Through the front door on your left. Thanks. Good morning, sir. Would you please come in? Permit me to lead the way. Thank you, James. That will be all. How do you do, Mister、uh, Adams? Henry Adams. Come and sit down, Mister Adams. Thank you. You're an American. That's right, from San Francisco. How well do you know London? Not at all. It's my first trip here. I wonder, Mister Adams, if you'd mind us、uh, asking a few questions. Not at all. Go right ahead. May we ask what、uh, you're doing in this country and what your plans are? Well, I can't say that I have any plans. I'm hoping to find work. As a matter of fact, I landed in Britain by accident. How is that possible? Well, you see, back home I had my own boat about a month ago. I was sailing out of the bay. Well, go on. Oh well. Oh yes. Well. Towards nightfall, I found myself carried out to sea by a strong wind. It was all my fault. I didn't know whether I could survive until morning. The next morning, I'd just about given myself up for lost when I was spotted by a ship, and it was the ship that brought you to England. Yes. The fact is that I earned my passage by working as an unpaid hand, which accounts for my appearance. I went to the American embassy to seek help, but、uh, well, you mustn't worry about that. It's an advantage. I'm afraid you. Don't quite. I don't quite follow you, sir. Tell us, Mister Adams, what sort of work did you do in America? I worked for a mining company. Could you offer me some kind of work here? Patience, Mister Adams. If you don't mind, may I ask you how? Much money you have? Well, to be honest, I have none. What luck, brother? What luck? Well, it may seem lucky to you, but not to me. On the contrary, in fact, if this is your idea of some kind of joke, I don't think it is very funny. Now, if you excuse me. I think I'll be on my way. Please don't go, Mister Adams. You mustn't think we don't care about you. Oliver, give him the letter. Yes, 
the letter. The letter for me, for you. Oh no, you mustn't open it yet. You mustn't open it. Not yet. You can't open it until two o'clock. Oh, this is silly. Not silly. There's money in it. James. Oh no, I don't want your charity. I just want an honest job. We know you're hardworking. That's why we were given you the letter. James, show Mr. Adams out. Good luck, Mr. Adams. Well, why don't you explain what this is all about? You soon know. In exactly an hour and a half. This way, sir, Mr. Adams. Not until two o'clock. Promise, promise. Goodbye. 更多精彩内容，请搜索“子牛初中英语”、子牛高中英语、子牛快乐语法。作者：常荣。